God bless you, pastors, global Christian friends out there, scientists. God bless the military out there across the globe. Fantastic job you're doing out there. Allowing the farmers to have the patience and peace you college students out there across the globe, uh, high school students, elementary students, factory workers, God bless you. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. Oh, those words, they reign. Oh, do they reign. God said, David is a man after my own heart. Look at the kind of heart that you ought to have. But if you don't treasure your heart, I don't mean treasure your heart to do evil or treasure your heart to do wickedness, but to treasure your heart to do good. And keep this verse in mind. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. To the contrary, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speak. Notice that, for the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. Oh, bring forth the wholesome word from your heart, so that it may be the tree of life, and nourish those that need to be nourished. The two foundations, beginning at 6, Luke 46 through 49. You'll find this compatible scripture also in Matthew chapter 7, verses 24, 25, 26, and 27. Matthew. Let's look at the highest church. 646. And why call ye me Lord, Lord? and do not the things which I say. Whosoever cometh to me, and heareth my sayings. Oh, what a wonderful statement that is. And Matthew did uh, a little booklet on 200 sayings of the Lord uh, in the Hebrew tongue. We've said that many a time before. Whoso cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. 
And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it. Why? For it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built the house upon the earth. Again, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell. Why? You know why it fell? And the ruins of that house was great. And it shall always and continue to be great. It's like faith without works is dead. If you're not doing works so that you may be able to glorify God. Uh, and this is all just plain old, plain old, plain old powerful knowledge for those not, who are not only children of light or children of the highest, but also uh, those that have the more solid foundation by the works that you do. Look at the kind of heart you got. You treasure your heart. You value your heart. You're going to bring forth that which is good out of your heart. And here in the sayings of Jesus, he is illustrating here the difference in, I like to think of just a one-way foundation, because the other one just don't make no sense, since you've been warned against. And we have been told, if you have ears to hear, that in here, and we do hear. And it's a big difference when you have the highest knowledge and the highest understanding and uh, uh, you're able to understand uh, that which is greatest, that which is highest, and that which is farthest away. But your heart is right before the Lord. And there are reasons as to why your heart must be right before the Lord. Uh, just like you must be clean before the Lord. And there are reasons for that as well, too. But treasure your heart and treasure these, this particular saying of the Lord. Now, I want to make one thing clear before we go, uh, children. You cannot go through having God within you. You cannot go through having God within you. I'm going to say it again. You cannot go through having God within you. God said, do not I feel heaven and earth. Scripture says, is not he greater in you than he that's in the world? Did he not say whatsoever is under the whole heaven is mine? Did he not say, I give you power over all the power of the enemy? Did he not say, the spirits are subject unto you? Out of all of this great knowledge, you can't go through. If you're going through something is wrong, you don't have God. I'm going to tell you like it is, you don't have God. You want to hate me? That's up to you. All right? Sun ain't going to stop shining because you run into a dark room. All right? Run into a dark room, sun still shine. Don't believe it? It's still going to be. All right? Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen and shall be seen upon you. God bless you, global Christian friends and pastors. We love you.